All right, so Romero Brito, when he creates his artwork, he uses nice thick black lines. He uses lots of patterns. So you can see we have polka dots, stripes, and he also uses lots of bright colors. And one of the reasons he chooses bright colors is because he wants you to look at his artwork and feel happy. And bright colors make us feel happy. So you can see there's a lot of reds and oranges and yellows. You're not noticing a lot of earthy colors like browns and grays and things like that. So when we color today, we wanna to try to avoid a few of the colors that we have in our set because they are not considered bright colors. So black and white, we don't really need to use because our print that we made is already black and white. So the only thing that white might help you with is if you have a little spot that got messed up, maybe the ink didn't show up in it, you could add a little white to that to make it show up. But that's it, that's all you would use that for. We can't really use black, we can't color with it because it's on black paper and we have black lines. So we don't need black and white for coloring. We also don't need to use brown because it's not a bright color, it's not part of the rainbow. Brown actually is the color you get when all the rainbow colors get mixed together. And then we also don't need to use gray. Um, it's pretty close to the white anyways, but gray is not even a color. It's what happens when you add black and white together. So these ones we don't need. Um, the peach is okay. It's, it's not a super bright color because there's a lot of white in it, but it's okay. You could use that one if you want to. So the rest of these should be good. And most of them are twistables. So when we're using a twistable, um, if let's say there's nothing left here, you just do one twist like this to get a little bit more up. We don't wanna twist it a lot because if there's too much at this end, it's gonna break when we use it. So only do one twist if you need more crayon. And then we have a few of the regular crayons and some colors that maybe the twistables don't come in. So you could use either of these. Now, when you're coloring and you're coloring a pattern, you need two colors. You can see he's got a blue and white striped pattern here. He's got an orange and red striped or polka dot pattern here. So if there's a shape like a circle or a heart, you need two colors for that. So over here, let's say I'll do red inside my hearts and you need to press hard when you color. If you press lightly, you're not gonna get good color. So make sure you're pressing down while you're using the crayon. If I press lightly, you can see there's hardly any color there. So you definitely wanna be pressing hard. And then once I do inside the hearts, then I choose a different color for outside the hearts. So I have yellow here. So now I'm gonna do yellow outside the hearts. And when you color, you're coloring each space separately. So this yellow is only going in that space. It's not going over here because this is a different space. There's a line between them. It's kind of like puzzle pieces in a way. So each piece gets a different color. Please make sure you're coloring so that there's not white left showing. So when you're coloring a space, you shouldn't be leaving lots of little white spots. Like if I did it like this, there's a lot of white left in there still. So I really need to be filling it all the way in. All right, so there we go. Now that space is done. So now I'm gonna choose another color. And if I look at this pattern space, those are swirls. And when you have something like that, where it's like a swirl or a short little line, you only need one color for that because there's not a space to fill in with a different color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this green and I'm gonna color, I'm gonna edge first because we're doing our three star coloring. So we need to color inside the lines and we can do that by outlining like this. And then really filling in that whole space and pressing hard is important. Not pressing lightly and scribbling. Okay, this is not fast coloring. This coloring takes time to do it well. Make it nice and colorful, okay? So now um, you can finish up inside the heart first or you can do outside the heart too. It doesn't matter when, as long as all the spaces are colored when you're done. So if I go up here, this actually is a pattern that needs two colors. So if I start with the orange and do every other, then the spaces in between should be the other color. So then maybe I do this pink one in between. So anywhere there's a pattern like that, you need to use two colors. We're practicing coloring patterns the right way. Now I really like this pink and I wanna use it more than once, but what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna use it in the space right next to it. So if I really like this pink, I need to put it somewhere where it's not touching these pink parts. So I could actually come to the bottom of the heart here and I could color this part pink. 
And again, make sure you're pressing hard when you fill it in so you get a brighter color. And then let's say I really like the orange too. I could come over here and do this outside of the heart space with orange. So I'm coloring edges first and then that is not enough color. You can see I went real lightly and there's a lot of white space. So I gotta go back and fix that now. If you go over it a couple of times, sometimes it works a little better too. If you colored too lightly the first time, just color over it again and then you'll get more color. All right, so then up here in this, this pattern, this is a shape pattern, kind of like the one over here. So again, I need two colors. So maybe I will do purple. So I'm gonna use a regular crayon for this. So purple inside the circles. And then after I do inside the circles, I can get a different color for outside the circles. I'm thinking a, like a lime green would look really good there. So let's see if I can find a lime green. There we go. Kind of light like yellow, but it's a little bit greenish. All right, so I'm gonna pretend that all my spaces are colored now because we do have to color all the spaces. When all the spaces are colored, we're going to be doing one more thing. We're going to be choosing a color to frame our heart with, our heart print. So we have to choose a color that we've used inside the heart. So if, let me finish this space real quick. All right, so let's pretend I colored the rest of these. I, I still need one, two, three, four, five more colors, but let's pretend it's done. So when this is done, I am going to be framing it and it's gonna look kind of like this. So I'm gonna do this part for you, but you have to choose the color paper that it's on. Now with this one, you can see I used the light blue color that's here in the circles inside the heart. And that's why I chose it for the frame. We don't wanna choose one of these colors for the frame outside the heart because then they would be touching. And we talked about that when we color too. We don't want the same color touching. So choose a color that you used only inside the heart here. So with this one, um, I could do yellow, I could do red, I could do kind of this blue green or this dark pink or orange. And I think I like the idea of doing the red so it matches those little hearts. So then I will go to the big table and find the red paper. And you're not cutting this out, that's my job. I have a special paper cutter for it. So all you need to do to this red paper is put your name on it, that's it. And you're gonna write your name with a pencil really small down in the bottom corner. Because then when I cut out your heart and I put it on there with some special tape, your name will show in the corner. So that's it. You have to write your name in the corner on the frame and then you're gonna give me both these things together and then I will be doing the next part where I cut it and I tape it onto this frame for you and then you'll be able to take it home in a couple of days. So that's your goal today is to do your best three star coloring to make each part a different color and when it's a pattern, you need to use two colors, not one. And every space should be colored like you see in this one.